cranky viewers. My name is B. I am one of your cranky girls. Um, we're trying something new. We want to s try out reading our reviews and seeing if maybe y'all like that instead. So uh, here we go. Okay. Today we're going to do Finding Mr. Wrong by A.M. Madden and Joanne Schwem. I hope I pronounced your name right. Plus, look at those abs. Abs, ladies. Yes. So here is the synopsis of the story. Um, it goes, here's a tip. Never trust a jackass in preppy clothing. The phrase, trust me, should have been the first clue to hightail it out the door. But hindsight is 2020. So there I was on stage with two other men being asked ridiculous questions by a woman I couldn't see. But whose voice made my pants tighten, and I don't mean around my ankles. Before I knew what was happening, I'd signed up for six weeks in paradise, isolated on an island for, for 42 days with a complete stranger. And when I finally laid, laid eyes on the sexy brunette that belonged to the voice, a part of me thought, this wouldn't be so bad. I've always been a level-headed guy. I'm a successful, smart, shrewd businessman. But, a, but that was when I was listening to the head above my shoulders. Once the blood traveled south, and I always ran into trouble. She called me Mr. Wrong, and that was fine with me. Lesson learned. Lump, lust always trumps logic. Viewer at Cranky gave it five stars, which really means you should probably go pick this book up as well. Bree is a hard worker, a great friend, and an amazing daughter, and an all-around good person. She's fun, quirky, and cute. When she loses her job, an opportunity pops up to spend six weeks at a tropical location with a bachelor of her choosing and win half a million dollars. Bree jumps on it. Word to the rise. Yeah, word to the wise. <laughs> Read the fine print. When Mr. Wrong is so right, what's a girl like Bree to do? Jude Soren is a self-proclaimed bachelor. He loves his life, company, and family. His friends are a different story. They got him into this mess and he can't wait to get them back. I absolutely love this story. Most of the time when you get two authors the together, the flow gets interrupted. I didn't find that with this book. I hope these authors write more together. I can't recommend this book enough. Grab your coffee today and see why Mr. Wrong can feel so right.